is good everybody welcome to an epic my damn toys video today ladies and gentlemen we do have some brand new wwe action figure news for you guys and i am very excited to dive into it we got a lot of things to cover here today and i am excited to get into it before we do i do want to give a huge shout out to a few people here first of all i do want to give a shout out to marvelous underscore figures for this information he sent it to my boy unstable 1047 so i do want to give a shout out to not only marvelous underscore figures but also unstable 1047 my boy christian over there he made a video regarding some of this stuff here today and I do want to give a huge shout out to both of those guys for making this video possible because without them I wouldn't have known about the news and I wouldn't be able to spread it to you guys so huge shout out to them and I appreciate them so very much for the news so let's go ahead and dive in guys I honestly I I don't think I know the exact source of this screenshot here but um you guys can see on the screen here we have some new basic WWE figure series this is basic series 111 action figure case I don't know what these codes mean it's all about the systems and the you know the freaking supply chains and stuff I, I don't know how that ish works it's just a bunch of codes and then it goes into the system and the inventory and the BS and let's just shut the hell up and talk about what we're here to talk about contains 12 individually packaged figures and includes three Jeff Hardys two Eric Rowans two Nikki Crosses three Bray Wyatt's and two Kevin Owens now that's just for you know you go to Walmart and there's like you know, three basics of this guy and two basics of this guy and three basics of this chick and then four basics of this guy. That's basically what this coding is talking about. But this is a brand new series. We don't have any information on these just yet, but we do see that we have Jeff Hardy, Eric Rowan, Nikki Cross, Bray Wyatt, and Kevin Owens. Now, I think everybody's going to probably be noticing that on the Bray Wyatt figure, it does say Firefly Funhouse. Now, that tells us, Brad, that we're probably going to get the Firehouse Fun... Uh, or Fly... 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 Fly I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Firefly Funhouse Bray Wyatt is probably what we're going to be getting. Now, that would obviously be the Bray Wyatt with his hair up in the man bun, shaved sides, looking pretty good, handsome Bray Wyatt. I'm sure it'll have a big-ass smile on its face. He'll be in his beautiful red sweater. He'll be in his beautiful khaki pants, and he'll have his beautiful black boots going on, and I think that is a fantastic basic. And one thing I will say is, you know, I, I know that Christian said it in his video, and it is kind of unfortunate that it is a basic right now, but just because it's not a basic now does not mean that we will not get an elite down the line you know we could easily get an elite of Bray Wyatt from the Firefly Funhouse and to be honest with you I don't know if you guys have heard me mention this on the channel before but I'm more intrigued by the Firefly Fire I don't know why I can't freaking say it Firefly Funhouse Bray Wyatt than I am the Fiend I love the Firefly Funhouse version of Bray Wyatt I think that Bray Wyatt if he wanted to he could pack his shit from wrestling, from WWE, take himself over to Hollywood and LA, and he could easily make himself a career just off of his acting skills alone. I think the guy is that damn good at what he does. Rind Wyndham Rotunda could be a big name in Hollywood one day. You heard it here first anyways. Let's get into it, guys. So Bray Wyatt in the Firefly Funhouse. I'm sure it will be a man bun head sculpt. I'm sure that it will be in the red sweater. And these, the custom that you're looking at right here, these were made by BEW Animations, I do believe. And these are a huge shout out to my boy Matt MBG. He is a great photographer and stuff. This is off of his YouTube channel, one of his videos. So definitely go check him out. But uh, these customs are beautiful. Not only do we have the theme, but we have the Firefly Funhouse. And honestly, this is what I hope that we get when we do get an Elite. You know, I do want to see this beautiful figure rendered in an Elite form in Mattel. Hopefully, we can translate all the details that we get from customs over to the Mattel Elite version when we finally get that. But a basic is going to be okay for that. And, uh, and you know, it's not the only figure in the set. We have plenty of figures here. Another figure that I'm looking at in this set, there's two of my favorite wrestlers in the world right here. We got Jeff Hardy and not only Jeff Hardy, but we have Kevin Owens, and if we're diving into Jeff Hardy, I think that, you know, we're, we're, it's probably going to be a face paint. They love to, you know, if they release a Jeff Hardy, it's probably going to be face paint because there's so many different face paints out there, and we love to make our fix-ups. You guys know my long Jeff Hardy collection. We're going to make some fix-ups and some surgery and appointments and all kinds of ish on that, but not only do we have Jeff Hardy, I, I don't know if we're going to get, you know, a brand new unpainted face, uh, maybe a longer hair mold, maybe a, maybe a freaking man bun Jeff Hardy would be cool, or a ponytail Jeff Hardy would be really sick. I would like to see that. I'm still waiting on a sleeveless, shirtless Jeff Hardy, so I want to see not only a shirtless like we got with the Elite 57, but I think an Elite with uh, the sleeves, uh, not on there, like, you know, just bare sleeves so that we can get, you know, all the tattoo detail would be really beautiful. But not only do we have Jeff Hardy, we have B Kevin Owens, and we'll cover the other figures as well, but Kevin Owens, I hope, comes with a nice faded beard 
and nice updated looking Kevin Owens. His head sculpt has not been updated in a little bit. I think it's time that we finally get one. It's been 10 Elite Series since we got a new Kevin Owens head sculpt, so hopefully we get one of those. I would like to see a thicker, longer beard, maybe a faded haircut a little bit. Looking pretty freaking good right there, and I, I would love to see that from Kevin Owens. The attire doesn't matter because you guys know as well as I do, I think head sculpts are pretty much what a lot of people care about with the basics, unless you're, you know, really young and you don't really care about the articulation part of it, like, like super young, like you're a kid and you just go to Walmart and you're like, oh, basic John Cena, grab that hoe, go home and play with it, you know what I'm saying? So I think that head sculpts are the most important when we're talking about brand new basics, and we don't have images of them yet, but this Eric Rowan figure, Nikki Cross, Kevin Owens, Bray Wyatt, and Jeff Hardy, hopefully they have great head sculpts. I feel like we don't get any bad head sculpts anymore since the true effects. Some likeness may be off here and there, and some head sculpts may not be spot on, but I think for the most part that, uh, you know, most of our head sculpts nowadays are beautiful, and hopefully they nail all of these. Nikki Cross, I don't know what, she'll probably be in a t-shirt or something. I don't know what, you know, I, I don't know how, we could definitely get a better Nikki Cross head sculpt than we got with her elite. I think it'll probably be her smiling since she's with Alexa Bliss, and she's been with her for a while now. I think that uh, we'll probably get a smiley face for the Nikki Cross or a crazy smile since her elite was kind of a weirded face. It, it, I don't know. It was just a little weird, man. Uh, anyways, Eric Rowan. Now, it'll probably be a pissed off face. You know, usually all of his elites have had like a either a grimacing face or like a pissed off growling face. Or uh, it could be a yelling, but who knows? I, I don't, I'm not sure. But it'll probably have his updated tattoos, stuff like that. I'm, I'm pretty much damn sure of it is what we'll get with Eric Rowan. But uh, not only did I want to cover these basics here with the Basic Series 111. Again, a huge shout out to Unstable. 1047 my boy Christian and Marvelous Figures for that news but I also wanted to get into some other things here one thing I wanted to talk about because I was at the beach when this news released and I never got to make a video on it but the Elite 80 Viking Raiders I've had people comment on my videos the last few days since getting back from the beach I never made a video on it so I figured I'd throw these guys in here while we're talking about it the Elite 80 Viking Raiders are finally freaking here and I know you guys wanted to hear my reaction to this so here it is these figures look freaking fantastic man they look so good Good. I know we just have a gray, you know, rendered version of them here. It's not the full color. It's not, you know, everything, all the details that we're going to be getting with them. But they look fantastic. I love the head sculpts. I think the gear that we're getting is cool. I will notice that, uh, you know, we are getting the Johnny Organo, Kevin Owens kick pad problem or the, the Hurricane kick pad problem that we've seen so many times in the past. Does it really bother me that much? And I think we will be able to switch that out. I, I hope that maybe we can do some surgery on it, fix him up, and get him the way that we want to look. And I, I just hope these figures live up to the expectations. I can't wait to see all the tattoo de uh, deco. I said deco. I didn't, you know, mess it up and say deco or de I, I don't know. I always F up saying deco for some reason in these videos, but I think both Viking Raiders in these gray images of the renders look fantastic. I do notice that we do get a screaming head sculpt, but you know, uh, it, it should work out okay. Uh, hopefully with the true effects it shines through nice. I'm sure we'll get a battle pack or something of these guys later on with different head sculpts or something. And uh, hopefully these guys live to the expectations. But it looks like all of their details are going to be great. And I can't wait to see what they look like when they are fully released. But we have one more thing that I want to talk about guys. And it is in package images of the Fiend Bray Wyatt Elite Series 77. This is some other news I wanted to get into. I think this is a beautifully packaged Bray Wyatt Elite, man. This Fiend figure right here, I know we talked about the Firefly Funhouse Bray just a few moments ago, but this version right here in Elite Series 77 with SummerSlam packaging in the orange and blue, tying in with the Fiend, and he's got his lantern, and he's, you know, showing off the hurt and heel hands. I think this this figure just looks so damn good, and apparently the first shipments are already shipping, which I'm not exactly sure of because I haven't gotten an email about it, but you guys know I'm usually last to get my figures anyway, so I'll probably get them in 2021 or something like that, but all jokes aside, I think that this figure looks great in the packaging. I did notice that some people are having some problems, uh, like Zack Ryder's, I think, and Kurt Hawkins, they, their face mask or the, the mask on their Burry White Fiend figure kind of had like some discoloration or some paint shipping problems, so hopefully that's not an ongoing issue with all of these figures, but I did want to talk about this packaging, and uh, it's cool that it says The Fiend up there above Bray Wyatt, and then it says Bray Wyatt, of course, underneath, and I like the big bright, I don't know, it just looks really good, man, the orange and blue colorway of it looks great, it's just like Elite Series 68 from last year, how we got all of the SummerSlam themed figures, and I think it just looks good, I know a lot of people are going to probably talk about the praying hands being left off of the singlet on the Bray Wyatt chest, but it actually was not added, that was not added until later on, so I think this is supposed to be his debut where he took on Finn Balor, and he like snapped his neck in the ring, and then Finn Balor went to NXT, 
turn heel and was a completely great character after that. So uh, this does not include the praying hands, but this figure looks great. And they also actually updated the figure. They beefed up the arms. They took the... Uh, the skinny arms that you guys were worried about, they actually took those and beefed them up to the Luke Harper slash Eric Rowan mold, which is the perfect mold for a Bray Wyatt figure, and I'm very happy that they decided to do that. I think that's excellent, and now we don't have to worry about really, really skinny arms, and uh, I hope you guys are pretty excited about that as well. So I think that's all the news that I wanted to cover here today. I believe that is it. Another huge shout-out to Marvelous Figures for the Basic Series 111 news, and my boy Unstable1047 for that, so definitely go check them out. But that is going to do it for today's video. Video, guys, I think that uh, we may have another rank video coming very soon, and uh, I need to get the MDT Battle Royal uh, squared away. I gotta edit that video and get that thing going, but that is gonna do it for the action figure news, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. Let me know what you guys think of everything down in the comment section below. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at my damn toy. Subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.